I'm a representational artist. By the work around here, you can recognise what the things are that I paint. Early on, I'm kind of abstract in the way I go about paintings, but then I pull something representational out of them. I'm also a tonal painter. I, cho- I, I trained as a as an artist, uh, as a as a tonal painter. So when I look at a painting, it's got to be well tonal. Um, it's got to have a nice simplification got to have pleasing design. It's got, got to be something people like to look at and make people happy. I'm not one of the one of the artists who paint ugly pictures. Or I, I like to think people who buy my paintings get up every morning and look at it and and feel refreshed by it, or see something in it that they haven't seen before, and it makes them feel good. Sure, what else to say about my paintings? I, I like them to be, I like them to have a visual impact. I, I'm mostly known as a watercolorist, and watercolor's got a bit of a bad name over many years of being sort of a wishy-washy sort of medium. It's not uh, in Australia, and I don't paint that way. You can see any of my paintings on the wall; they're pretty strong and they stand out. In fact, a lot of my watercolors are stronger than my oil paintings. When I first started painting, I had a young family, and in all, and and I was working. So in order to get, when I'd get home, spend a bit of time with the children and my wife, and then go out to my little studio that I had at my place and set up an oil painting, do a bit of oil painting, and then clean it up. It was a tedious process, whereas watercolour was clean and it was quick.